Okay, Coach, what an exciting game. I tell you what, that that's just – you can't really play – have a better game than that. The girls deserve that one. Uh, Wave their tails off for each other, for the program, for the community. Um, it's a special night. Um, certain girls step up. And, you know, the, the, uh, the situation wasn't too big for uh, any of the girls tonight. And I speak of – and Taylor French was in foul trouble most of the night. We were talking about a senior that is a huge part of our program. And in comes Chloe Wilson, who has the game of her life. Oh my gosh, she made so many key so rebounds. Many key rebounds and some steals along the baseline. And uh, then we got Jason Buck coming in doing her normal defensive stops. And, uh, and she had a big three there in the second. Huge three. It's so the second or third quarter? Uh, I believe it was the third quarter. Third quarter. On our side there. So. Uh, big play there, and then you had you know, Snipes and Rust, they're typical good nights. Shayla battling a little bit of a back injury and still fought through it. There's no way she's going to sit, sit out of this game. And, uh, so, special night uh, for these girls, and she's going back to the state the tournament the second year in a row, and three times the last six years. Well, that, that's amazing. Um, this game seems to me like, I mean, of all your sub-state Championships. He's won three of them. This one seems pretty special. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is. I mean, I've had some people say, well, this isn't a special one because we stumbled out of the gates mm -hmm. starting the season. And we started off two and three. And like I told many uh, of the media outlets, and we had the Christmas practices were as tough as they come. Uh, a lot of tears, a lot of sweat. A lot of finding ourselves. And, uh, you know, come, start off two and three, now we're 17 and five. Uh, and that's the math of 15, yeah. 15 and two to, to uh, I believe that's right, 15 and two to uh, close up the year. So uh, the girls uh, bought into what we were doing and uh, what we had to change and picked it up the first of January and, and never looked back. Well, you were down seven points, I think it was, midway through the third quarter. What exact did you do anything differently to get yourself back in the game, or it was just that just that kind of contest where it was just uh, yeah, we, a battle of wills? We got to seven. Um, there was a moment there we had a timeout. Uh, we, again, we had to just reiterate about the way this game was about a possession at a time. I know that's a coaching cliche, but we could get caught up in winning the first quarter, winning the second, winning the third, and winning the game. If you get caught up in winning the game, it's up to you to you got to find yourself. Trouble, especially against the ball that goes So we preached winning each possession. That time out with by seven, we said, This is your biggest possession. You've got to get a bucket. Uh, we did, and it was five, and then it was three. And, uh, just, you had it tied at that uh, yeah, third quarter in. Again, cut to the girls, and they just they listened to uh, the staff. And no, 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 it's, no. it's not rocket science, it's just trying to win each possession, and the seniors. We're demanding of all, of all the young, of the young gir girls on our team. And uh, hey, this thing's far from over. Even if it's say, five, seven points, we're getting the next one. We're gonna get it away. We're gonna score on this one. We're gonna get a stop. We're gonna score. We're gonna stop. And, and that's what happened. Yeah, and then there near the end, it looked as if you were you had the four point lead there, and it just seemed like. That had to wait till the very last second of the game again. <laughs> that ball, uh, Seminole put up at the very end. They tried to tie it. It was up in the air a, a long time. I think he got it's, it's just, it's funny how all those line throws we're doing with him, all the conditions, everything we put through to make this uh, the program that it is, uh, it comes down to that one play. Yeah. And that ball hanging up in the air like that. So, you know, thank goodness on our side it, it, it didn't go in, and so again, the girls were uh, heading back to the line. Yep. Four, you had two, Your both, both of your seniors had four fouls going into the final quarter. What would you have said at that particular point that neither one of them would have fouled out at the end of the game? What would have been the well, Las Vegas odds yeah, on that? Not, not good. I mean, Snipes is such an aggressive player. What we were worried about, we. we you should listen to us as far as the defensive side, the breach, play smart. It's the offensive side that she gets aggressive going to rim and have uh, defensive slides and, and recovers and gets to the help line. We're afraid of a charge. 
so we talked to her on that side. Yeah. It's got to be a clear path layup, but it's not going to pull up and hit the little mid-range jump shot. And, uh, thank goodness that she didn't get you know, put in that position where uh, she fouled out, like I said. Two seniors uh, yeah. through the game, and that was big. Do you um, have any idea what, where you'll be as far as the seeding? I, or? I know we're getting some feedback on some teams that have won, but uh, it just, it, 4 is just so, 4A girls, it's just, it's, well, first of all, it's going to probably be you know, 1 through 8, there's going to be winning records up and down the line. Uh, but possibly the worst record right now might be Avenue. Can you stay away from me, Age, or Piper? Or Piper? I don't know who's going to. Piper that should one. be the one. I did find out they won. So they only have one loss. So that could be the one seed. And then Abilene right now with six losses. It would be eight right now. Again, I don't know all those things, but I do know those two. And in, in, in the circle business. Circle one. They're starting to filter in, so I don't know. It'd be interesting to see you in Thunder. I, I, I've been kind of wanting to see you in circle play all year, but. We just have to I'll wait. All wait right. Tomorrow and see who we're, who we're playing. And, uh, one, la one last thing. Why'd you tell the girls in the locker room afterwards? No, uh, just uh, be, first of all, a lot of screaming, a lot of tears. A lot of screaming and yelling, hugs and tears. Uh, and just uh, how proud I am. Especially, especially those two seniors. Yeah. You know, I've had them since uh, uh, freshman year. Yeah. And so uh, that group, uh, that those two seniors, Taylor and French, and Hunter, uh, now 69 and 22 as basketball players. So they've really done just such a great job of representing our program, representing our community and school the right way. So, the winds have come along with it, and it's always fun. Uh, so, yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Coach. Congratulations. Thank you.